Welcome back to Only Scratching Winners. Have kind of a special episode because these two tickets were given to us to show on camera. Um, my father, he likes to play these $3 bingos and he's like, you know what? Take some of these tickets, show them on the channel. He scanned them for me. I don't know how much they are, but he did find back to back. So usually when he goes out to the lottery shack with me, he buys like three or four of these. I'm not sure how much he bought. I'm gonna, let's, let's say four. Let's just estimate four. So, because he usually buys three or four. So, back-to-back -back wins on these $3 bingos, 46 and 47. Let's see what we can get on ticket 46 first. Haven't, we've done a few of these bingos. I know it's, bingos are kind of tough because they take a long time and, you know, it's, I know, it's like a long time. You can't, you don't get that like real quick like swipe across and find those matches but I think I don't know comment and let me know what is your favorite if you were playing off camera what's your favorite ticket to play off camera I think if I like to play like the three dollar crosswords off camera just because like there's no pressure for it. You know, it's just, there's three bucks. If you win something, even if it's like five bucks, you're still getting excited a little bit. Um, all right, in 35. So also I wanna know what's the biggest win that you guys have ever found on one of these? You might have to do some searching on our channel, but when we came back, I believe it was in April, I think we posted it. So when we came back in April, we had a really good hundred dollar win on one. We got the box, um, yeah, on ticket four or on card four. We got that box, so not bad win at all. But that's the biggest we've won on one of these prize box bingos. Biggest we've ever won on any three dollar bingo was a five hundred dollars. Um, it was when it has the old bingos back in like 2020 and. If you got the um, if you got the uh, multiplier, and what it was was a hundred dollar win, and then we also had the multi the multiplier for um, times five. So I don't know. I like I like watching bingos. Like if I'm watching scratchers, I I tend to like watching them sometimes. Um, Scratchtastic scratcher he he does bingos once a week and. You know, it's, they're like the type, I, I'll be honest, they're the videos that I like to watch, um, like early morning, like when you're first getting up, but you're like not ready to get out of bed yet. Um, just kind of sit back, watch a bingo. Maybe you're doing that right now, watching this one. I don't know. I don't know. So, eight. Definitely know that these are these we've done a few of these on um live streams before and yeah those take a little while 65 and i gotta remember this time to check corners sometimes i don't check the corners and i miss things so that's a mental note to myself right now check the corners mr osw we got an 18 there i really don't want an 18 because that would mean it's a ticket win and we're done playing on this first one 39. I've kind of wondered, comment, I'm just asking you guys a lot of questions. There's going to be a bunch of comments. Um, would you guys ever watch just a bingo live? And what would that, like, what would that look like? That'd take forever. Even if you had, we've done some bingos live before and it took a while. But would you guys ever watch a live where it was just bingos? And if so, how many do you want to see? Because, like, I don't want you guys, I don't want to be, like, a million bingos, you know. And it's like, oh, my God, this guy's doing too many bingos here. So what's, like, the max number of bingos you'd be willing to watch on a live stream? Just curious for future reference. Got a new scratching surface today since I'm at my my father's house. 
tend to come over here, you know, and help them out. You guys, you guys are my age. You guys are like in your 40s and you know how it is. Your parents are getting older. You go over and help them out. I, just, I at least come over here to Mo's yard at least once a week. Oh, 61. There's a 61 there. Man, we have a lot of things. Like, there's a lot of numbers that we can get to make this good. Oh, wait. Did I finish 16? Did I have any other 16s? I'm getting ahead of myself. I just found that one 16. There's actually three of them. All right. Now it's G53. Ooh, one more and we get that box there. G53. Got to pause and look. Have we won anything yet? I don't think we've won anything yet. Don't have four corners yet on anything. Oh, we have. We have a diagonal here. Okay. So $10. That's not that bad, especially if the old man bought uh, four of these. He's in this $12. It's like I said, it's he either spent like nine dollars or twelve dollars, but he tends to buy like three of one game at a time. Honestly, he probably he probably bought four, but I think the reason he gave this to us to feature on the channel um, is because he probably oh look we got the box, dude. That's another first card five dollars, so fifteen bucks so far. Not bad. This isn't this is a nice win. This right here, this right here pays for his whole, uh, his whole tickets. You probably heard that motorcycle in the background. Living in, uh, northern Nevada, we have, everyone has, like, side-by-sides and four-wheelers and dirt bikes. All right, G50. Got a 50 there. All right. We're going to need a few more if we can get that X there, but it's not going to be 20,000 plus five. Um, 74. There's a 74. 75. Another 75. Oh, we got four corners. So, oh, another 10 bucks. So we have 10, 20, 25. Okay. Man, let's see if we can get something else. What else can we get for a good win? Um, another line here would be another five for 30. So 55, 55. Okay. Line here would be another 10, but that'd be 35. I don't think 35 is a price. What do we got? Oh wait, that's the last one there. So I'm just seeing 25 bucks on this first one on ticket 46. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. So, ticket 46, we got one more to go. Now, if you are new to the channel, and you've stuck around this time as I've been scratching these, how do we know these are winners? Well, on our regular videos, we like to just feature winners. So, we scan them. I don't know how much they are. That's the one thing. I, I'm very adamant, like, I do not want to know. Um, like, I don't want to know what it is. So, usually get someone else to scan it. Um, can't do the second chance because we don't live in California. So usually I have Mrs. OSW's older son do it for us. Um, back in the day, Christy and I had the, we, we called her the younger non-scratching sister do it for us. Um, which apparently she thought that was, that was a pretty big chore. Like she was not, she was not, after a while she was like, I am, I'm out. So but yeah, we only feature winners. But here's the thing. When we when we buy tickets um, for the channel to make like our regular videos with, I like to try to tell you, like, I go in because I go to Gold Ranch Casino. It's on the border of California and Nevada. Really cool because the, uh, the state line is actually inside the store. Um, but when I go there, like, I'll go to the vending machines and I'm like, okay, I want to do like a vending machine battle. So I'm gonna buy, you know, three $10 tickets out of this one, three $10 tickets out of that one. Or if I do a um, series like, oh, I'm gonna buy this many crosswords. So usually with the bigger tickets, 
like the $30 ones or the $20 ones. It's like two or three, um, really depending on budget. But then we scan them and whatever the winners are, that's the ones we use. And you know what, guys? Like a little behind the scenes, sometimes I go into it like, hey, I'm going to do, I'm going to buy five of these blast of cash because I want to make a video of them. And none of them are winners. So, you know, that video never gets made. But that's just kind of the, uh, it's kind of the business of scratching only winning lottery tickets on your regular videos. That's why it was like really weird when we came back and on live streams, we decided we're going to do full books or full mixes. Like we're going to just do whatever. And that, that's been fun. Like it was weird at first, but it's been fun scratching everything. Um, and I kind of like that role for the channel, but I still like, we still have it like in spirit where we only do winners for um, these regular videos. Because when we started the channel and we're trying to, when Christy and I were talking about like, what what's going to like set us apart? You know, what's going to be something that we're unique with? And like only showing the winning tickets was it. And... You know, we really, really enjoyed that when um, both of us were scratching together. Let's see, 45. There's a 45. All right, 75. But, you know, channel's a little different now. You know, people change, things happen. And I'm going to be honest, this is coming back and restarting the channel really really was like a good healing like moving on thing for me and if you're like brand brand new to the channel check out some of our old stuff like when we started started the channel and you'll you'll see who christy was to the channel and you know or watch our relaunch video okay 63 coming down to it um, oh, that'd be cool if we got a 60. Where are we at? 34. 34. Got another 34 here. A lot of 34s on this one. 66. How many Star Wars fans, whenever you see 66 on a lottery ticket, you do that sound like, you know, execute order 66. Okay. Um, 60. Oh, we did get a 60. All right, we got the box filled in. So there's $5 right there for that box. And that was it. So just looking at this, um, I don't see... We're short on some four corners. We're short on some lines. But we did fill in that box for 5 bucks. This isn't a bad session. This was a $30 session out of like, you know, I'm going to say $12. Out of like $12 in tickets. I think the old man bought about four of these. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This was such a fun session. So again, these weren't my tickets. These were my father's. Scratched them for him on camera. So we're able to give the old man 30 bucks back. And honestly, he's probably going to spend it on 10 more $3 crosswords and bingos, which will be great. So thank you so much. If you want to support the channel, check out the description below for channel memberships and our merchandise store. And until next time, scratch it like it's hot.